Welcome to Mind Blow, the ultimate destination for jaw-dropping content that will surprise, inspire, and entertain you every step of the way. If you love discovering the unexpected, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and share with your friends to keep the excitement going. Your support helps us keep blowing minds and creating content you'll never forget. So buckle up and get ready, because this is just the beginning. The story of warfare is a story of technology. From sharpened stones to stealth bombers, humans have always sought an edge. Today that edge is small, quiet, and unmanned. A drone. Drones have rewritten the rules of conflict, democratizing air power. What was once the domain of powerful nations is now accessible to almost anyone. A cheap quadcopter can surveil or strike with surprising precision. This is not science fiction. It's the new reality on modern battlefields. Drones are cheap, numerous, and disposable, able to overwhelm traditional defenses. They can be launched from almost anywhere, blurring the lines between state and non-state actors. The sky is now a crowded, contested space. The Ukraine conflict has shown how commercial drones can hunt tanks and execute complex attacks. Old air defense systems struggle to keep up with these small, elusive threats. For the Nordic countries, Denmark, Finland, Norway, Sweden, and Iceland. This is a direct challenge. Their geography and critical infrastructure make them especially vulnerable. A single drone could disrupt airports, spy on bases, or target power plants. Recognizing this, the Nordics didn't just buy new hardware. They set out to build a comprehensive multi-layered shield for the 21st century. Their approach is a masterclass in foresight and cooperation. It's about adaptation, building a defense for the wars of tomorrow, not yesterday. The drone revolution is here, and the Nordics are leading the way in response. The question is, how do you defend against a threat that can be anywhere, anytime? When faced with a new threat, the instinct is to find a single, powerful solution, a silver bullet. But the Nordics knew that against drones, a single defense is fragile. A high-tech missile is useless if you can't see the drone. A jammer might stop one drone. Stamaridran Nanintan and. Relying on one system is like building a wall with only one kind of stone. Sooner or later, it will be breached. The Nordic answer. Resilience through layers. Think of a medieval castle, moat, walls, towers, each serving a different purpose. Their counter UAS strategy is a system of systems, each layer detecting, tracking, and neutralizing drones in a different way. If one layer fails, another stands ready. This layered model allows for flexible, proportional responses. Not every drone is a threat. Some are hobbyists, some commercial, some lost. A layered system gives operators options, from passive detection to gentle jamming to forceful measures. This is critical in populated areas where collateral damage must be avoided. The Nordics recognize that drone tech evolves fast. A layered defense can adapt, upgrade one layer without rebuilding the whole system. It's a future-proof approach ready for whatever comes next. The goal, a defense not for the last war but for the next, that's the Nordic way. The first layer of anti-drone defense is detection. You can't fight what you can't see and drones are hard to spot. Traditional radars miss small, slow drones. They blend into background clutter. The Nordics use a fusion of sensors, high-res radars, electro-optical and infrared cameras and radio frequency detectors. Each sensor type brings unique strengths creating a richer, more reliable picture. RF sensors act as digital ears picking up drone communications before they're visible. All this data is cross-referenced and analyzed by AI, trained to distinguish birds from drones, friend from foe. The result? Fewer false alarms, faster identification of real threats. This integrated network forms the digital eyes and ears of the Nordic Shield. It operates 24-7, scanning skies over critical sites and urban centers. The goal, a real-time air picture, from ground level to thousands of feet. Early warning is everything, giving decision-makers time to act. Without this robust detection layer, all other defenses would be flying blind. In the drone age, seeing is surviving. The Nordics have made sure nothing goes unseen. Once a drone is identified as a threat, the system must act. This is the neutralization layer, where the shield goes from watching to intervening. The Nordics use a spectrum of options, from soft-kill electronic warfare to hard-kill kinetic force. The first choice is often jamming, disrupting the drone's radio or GPS links. 
jamming can force a drone to land, return home, or drift harmlessly. It's subtle, effective, and minimizes risk to people below. But some drones resist jamming, operating autonomously, or on changing frequencies. When soft kill fails, the system escalates to hard kill, lasers that burn electronics, interceptor drones, or even nets. For the toughest threats, traditional weapons, cannons, shotguns, are integrated into the network, guided by precise targeting data. The key is having the right tool for every situation. This deep toolbox ensures operators can handle any drone, anywhere. The layered approach means no single failure is catastrophic. Neutralization is an art, choosing the right response at the right time. The Nordics have mastered it. Their shield is as adaptable as the threat itself. Technology alone isn't enough. The most critical layer of the Nordic shield is people and partnerships. The Nordics have built unprecedented cooperation between military, police, border guards, and infrastructure operators. Drones don't respect boundaries, so neither can defense. All agencies share information in real time, ensuring swift coordinated responses. In Finland and Sweden, total defense means everyone is connected to the same CUAS network. If a police patrol spots a drone, the military knows instantly. This breaks down silos and prevents confusion. Cooperation extends across borders too. The Nordic Defense Cooperation Framework means shared intelligence, joint training, and collaborative tech development. Lessons learned in one country are shared with all. Partnerships with NATO and allies ensure interoperability in a crisis. The result, a regional shield stronger than any nation could build alone. Building a multi-layered drone defense is a balancing act, technology, cost, and law. The Nordics avoid gold-plated solutions, blending high-end military systems with affordable commercial tech. This mix creates a cost-effective, sustainable shield. Sophisticated radars and interceptors protect critical assets, while networks of cheaper sensors cover wide areas. The result? Comprehensive coverage, without breaking the budget. Legal and political challenges are just as complex. In democracies, force, even against drones, is tightly regulated. You can't jam all radio signals or fire weapons without clear authority. The Nordics have developed clear rules of engagement and legal frameworks for CUAS operations. Military, police, and policy makers work together to define who acts, when, and how. Transparency and accountability are central. Public trust is essential. Integrating civilian agencies ensures domestic standards are upheld. The Nordic model proves that effective defense is about smart investment and responsible action. The Nordic CUAS shield is a blueprint for nations facing the drone threat. It's built on resilience, adaptation, and cooperation, not just technology. The first lesson, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. The diversity of drone threats demands a layered, flexible defense. The second lesson, the human network is as vital as the tech. Seamless cooperation breaks down silos and ensures unified response. Building a CUAS system is as much about organization as hardware. Pragmatic investment balancing high-end and commercial tech maximizes capability without unsustainable costs. Wide distributed networks are more resilient than a few expensive systems. The foundation is political will and public confidence. The Nordics acted early, built legal frameworks and invested in adaptation. For others, the message is clear. Act now, build layers, foster cooperation, and earn public trust. That's how to secure the skies in the drone age.